Carl Sagan is an astronomer who has looked up and wondered ever since he was a child. He has wanted to visit the planet since then. Now he has a vision of our future in space, and he explains it in his latest book, Pale Blue Dot. Professor Carl Sagan joins me now. Welcome. Thank you so much. There are a number of ways of looking at this pale blue dot of ours. Some people would see it and be struck by the immensity of the universe. Others would see it and be struck by some sort of terrible insignificance of this planet we inhabit. What do you see when you look at the pale blue dot? Well, it is true that uh, some people are uh, disappointed that uh, the Earth has such a comparatively insignificant role in the universe. But my view is, uh, first of all, it's not our job to impose our wishes or fears on the universe. Our job is to understand what the universe is really like. There is something very humbling about that picture we've just seen, though, isn't there? I mean, does it strike you that oh, way? Certainly. I mean, here we are like uh, mites on a plum. And uh, the plum is this little planet, and it goes around an insignificant local star, the sun. And that star is on the, on the obscure outskirts of an ordinary galaxy, the Milky Way, which contains 400 billion other stars. And this galaxy is just one of something like 100 billion other galaxies that make up the universe. And it is now beginning to look, this universe is one of an enormous number, maybe even an infinite number, of other closed off universes. So the idea that we are central, that we are the reason there is a universe, is pathetic. Uh, we have to simply come to grips with the real universe that we really live in. And if some of our myth and some of our religion is inconsistent with it, it's time to change the myth and the religion. You call them the great demotions, all of these, these thoughts which we have so cherished. Uh, well, guess what? The universe doesn't revolve around the Earth. And guess what? The Earth isn't the only world out there. Are we still clinging to any conceits such as, such as those which led to uh, the great demotions over the past few centuries? Well, you would think we should be over it, but um, we still are battling, at least in the United States, the conceit that humans are separate from the rest of nature, that uh, an unbridgeable gap separates humans from the other plants and animals, that we are the particular beneficiary of the uh, concern of the creator of the universe more than any of the 10 million other species of plants and animals on the earth. When in fact, all of our vaunted uniqueness turns out to be shared with, with other animals, especially with chimpanzees, our closest relatives with whom we share 99.6% of our hereditary material. Um, another area in which the demotion is being fought is the idea that uh, there are no other planets beyond those in our own solar system. But in the last 15 years, the most marvelous set of findings has occurred in which it now appears that uh, planets are an ordinary, probably inevitable accompaniment of star formation and that almost every young star like the sun in the early stages of formation, is surrounded by this flat disk of gas and dust out of which the planets were formed. And we now have the first bona fide real planetary system around a very unlikely object, a particular pulsar called 1257 plus 12. And the technology is just about to reach out and find whatever planetary systems there are nearby. And the third one is the idea that uh, even if there are an enormous number of planets. Only ours has life and intelligence. And there, the, uh, the story is open. We uh, send spacecraft to other planets, like Mars, to see if there are any simple forms of life. <coughs> Excuse me. We use radio telescopes to see if 
messages are being sent to us by civilizations on planets of other stars. So far, although there have been some very curious, tantalizing findings in both of those approaches, we have found nothing definitive, unambiguous evidence for extraterrestrial life, and the debate is still open. In our ignorance, the geocentrists still find 